Hey guys, um, I have been trying and trying and trying to make another video. I'm so sorry it's taken so long. Um, this laptop is just a piece of shit. I mean, well, it was old when I got it and it was slow when I got it, but it's just officially like not, it's not working out for me. So sorry that it's taken so long, but that's why. Now I'm gonna try and film this on my phone, which I haven't done either because it only holds up to like 11 minutes, even with my SD card in it. So I don't know, I don't know. This is just frustrating the hell out of me. So I get requested a lot to do an eyebrow tutorial. And I don't, I'm not really good at tutorials because I'm not good at explaining things and I ramble a lot as you guys can obviously but I decided to just go ahead and film one real quick. And so if it's crappy um, editing, I'm sorry. Um, also, like, I feel like I look so weird on my phone. Like, just the way the camera is, my phone sucks. Anyways, let's move on. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've grown out my eyebrows a lot. Like, <laughs> so they look um, horrible. I, I needed to do to to groom them anyways so let's get into it first obviously I'm gonna put my hair up um I don't think I've worn like no makeup in a video since like one of my early videos but anyways so get that out of the way first thing I'm gonna do is use one of these little eyebrow razors I got this one at Dollar General, I think, but you can get them online for way cheaper. I just really needed one. Um, I should have my eyebrow brush in here, but I'll get it later. It, it, I don't really need it right now for this part. So basically, my face is clean and moisturized, and what I do is just, you can see, oh god, I'm sorry guys, it looks horrible. <laughs> um, you can see all the hairs right here, and I literally just I mean, you can see where you want. This is hard to do on my phone. I'm just saying. You can see what you need to cut or trim. And I just literally just shave it off. Like. You want to go at an angle when you do it. This is just one of the ways that I um, groom my eyebrows. Um, I do it several different ways depending on like my time and energy. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. I think the easiest way to show you guys is like the unibrow. I really don't like being this close to the camera. I don't know if you guys can see, but this camera sucks. Um, yeah, I just have like a little towel here. I'm just gonna wipe it off and then go back into it. And really, it's just, um, it's just shaping your brows. I mean, it's not that complicated unless you don't, if you're like not comfortable doing this, just don't do it because you don't want to like just shave off your entire eyebrows. But yeah, it just gets rid of all the hair. And no, it doesn't grow back thicker. People say, you know, if you shave your eyebrows, it's going to come back, like, so much thicker. Which, for some people, that might be a good thing. And then some people say if you shave it, they're never going to grow back again. For some people, that does happen. I guess it just depends on your skin type and stuff like that. I don't know. So pretty much, again, I'm just shaving like all the underside of my brows and then the top. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I will be right back. Okay, so I just cleaned up like the bottom of the brow and the top and the unibrow and that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with tweezers and get the, there's like a hair all over my face, um, like the little one, the little scragglies like this that you don't want to just like go in there with a big razor and again, shave your eyebrows off. Now, when I don't do it this way, using the razor and the tweezers, um, 
I actually use a hair removal cream, which I will show you once I'm done with this. Um, it's just a cream that I apply with a Q-tip, like I outline my brows however I want them shaped, and then I put the cream, literally just outline it with the cream, leave it on for five minutes or whatever. Usually I leave it on a little longer because my eyebrow hairs are like thick. But um, you do that and then you literally just let it sit and then you wipe it away. And I like my eyebrows thin because when I do fill them in, they look like a lot thicker. So when I pluck and groom them, I always do them pretty thin. So if you don't like them thin, don't fucking do them thin. Okay, so I just plucked all the, you know, little scragglies. And this eyebrow looks, always looks better than this one. They're like crooked. I'm not claiming to have perfect brows, but people always want, oh, shit. Sorry. People always want to know how I do my eyebrows. So this is how I do them. I mean, it's really nothing special. And I have this scar tissue on my eyebrow, which makes, I feel like it messes me up when I'm trying to do my eyebrows because it's a big like lump in my eyebrow. If you never noticed it in, then before, then you notice it now. So, almost forgot. I also trim them. Um, again, I should have. So my phone cut me off. I knew that was gonna happen. It wasn't even, it was like six minutes. So, mm, anyways, basically I took some scissors and I just like, go like again you can use a brush but I don't care I just went like this and then I just like literally you see it poking up like I just cut it like that so they're not perfect my eyebrows are sparse um which is why I fill them in but I really I don't care because when I fill them in you just can't even tell so anyways I am using this yes I know but I already had it and I had another one that I returned when all that like stuff went down with her because like no offense to anyone but I'm really not like cool with that anti-vax kind of stuff but you know to each their own but like I was really pissed off and I returned the other one that I had but I still have this one and I'm too lazy to go return it my Sephora is too far away so here we are keep your crap talking to yourself I don't want to hear it so anyways mm, Oh, this is a Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills 15, number 15 brush. It's just a little angled brush. Um, I got this a long time ago. And you know what pissed me off when I got this? It was like that. See how it's all like, yeah, it was like that when I got it. And I'm like, should I cut that piece off? I don't know. I've had it for years though. But anyways, with this, you can use any kind of dip brow. Um, this one is really good. If you don't care about all that, this one is really good. Um, it stays for a long time and is waterproof and all that good stuff. But I prefer pomade when I'm doing my brows only because like sometimes with a pencil, I, I can be pretty heavy handed and then they'll end up looking like crap. So now when I'm filling in my brows, I do it like everyone else. Like I really don't do anything special, you guys. Like at all um I usually start like towards the back of it um like this and I literally just do that I like still have hair on me and then I make an angry face then I do that I'm really just like following the outline of my brow And with this pomade, or usually any kind of pomade, even the Anastasia one that I used to use, um, you only need like a dab, like just dab it in there and honestly wipe off the excess. Cause I just dabbed it and look like how dark it is. My phone cut off again. I swear this is the most annoying thing in the world. Anyways. Okay, so again, I just started from right here and went to the tail and then I just outlined the top try not to have a heavy hand because I mean unless it depends on what look you're going for but this is just how I do it 
I try not to have a heavy hand because I feel like super dark brows don't look good on me. And anytime I mess up, I just like that. And then the front, I usually just do a little line on the bottom, like super duper light. Like you can see it's starting to show up, but just like really, really light. Because when my eyebrows are darker right here, it just makes me look like... It don't look right. Oh, and by the way, Ava colored that in with marker. It's not really, wow, my arm is like, um, it's not really colored in yet. I'm still debating on coloring that in. I don't know yet. We just got some more ink, black ink, white ink, and I ordered some orange for this, but I don't know. I don't know yet because I kind of just like black and white. So yeah, that's how I do it. I need to go grab my eyebrow brush. I'll be right back. Okay, so once you pretty much just fill it in, follow your natural line, I just brush it up and make sure that that like line, that line on the bottom is pretty well blended. Um, when you use pomade, usually it dries fairly quickly, especially this Kat Von D one. I found that um, it just dries really quick because, I mean, this one, like I said, unless I got cut off before I said it, it's waterproof and it lasts a really, really long time. I'm, I'm trying with this camera, guys. I'm so sorry. Girl's cutting me off again. Also, if you guys know of any good video editing apps um, or software for the computer, if I can get this computer working, please let me know because I'm trying. YouTube used to have a video editing feature that was really good and it helped me like jump cut my videos and stuff like that, but they took it off for some reason. Like, Does anyone know why YouTube took that video editor off? Because that really sucks. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my other brow. Um, I might not film this part because you just saw what I did, but I don't know. Like again, my eyebrows aren't perfect and they don't necessarily match all the way. Like I said, I start right there. Bring it like that. And then I do the top. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this brow. And then, my phone, my phone! Anyways, I'm gonna finish this brow and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that one's filled in and that's pretty much it um, when it comes to filling them in. Um, then I'm going to use a flat brush and some concealer. This is the Julep Cushion Complexion. It really doesn't matter. You can use any concealer. You can even use your foundation if you wanted to. I've done both. Um, I really do like this concealer. I got it free from CrowdTap like for testing. And they gave me a whole bunch of colors and I really like it. I will be buying more of this. So I just put some on my hand. And I get the flat brush. I also like to use the LA Girl, um, the Pro Concealer because it has a little brush already on the concealer. But if I don't use that, which I need to go buy more, then I use this. And literally, you've probably seen this already on Instagram and stuff. Like, that's how I do my brows. That's what I've seen on Instagram. Then I just literally clean it up. I really like the way, um, like, really sculpted brows look. Some people really hate this look. I'm like, okay. What elbow? Then I just like blend it. 
Yeah, some people really don't like, like they really get angry with this. I'm, I'm serious, you guys. Like I've seen comments where people are like, this is so effing stupid and looks so dumb. And like, people are so angry. You'd be surprised at the things that people are angry about. It's crazy. So yeah, I just clean up like that and see how it looks like. I just feel like it looks way better when you clean it up with concealer like that. Like it gives a more clearly like defined look, which I really like because the eyebrows are the nipples of the face. It's, I think it's just the whole eye in general. If you know what that reference is from, then comment down below. Then I just do the top, obviously, and then just, like I said, blend it because once you put foundation on and everything, you're not going to be able to see that. So yeah, that's literally what I do. Um, you could, instead of like following my grooming directions, which I don't recommend because you're probably going to mess up your brows like I do, um, just go get them waxed or tweezed or shaped or whatever you got to do if you don't have like already defined, like well, like an already on brow shape because I already have my brow shaped how I want it. Um, but if you don't and you have, you know, like brows that might be, you need more of an arch or it's too straight or whatever, I would just recommend going to get your brows shaped. And then once you have your brows shaped already, you can just tweeze and pluck or shave or use the hair removal cream like I do. I'll probably do the hair removal cream method in another video. Hopefully I can get this laptop working. I just cleaned it. I um, wiped it, um, the disc space, and I hope that that helps, but I'm really not holding my breath because this laptop is just truly a piece of junk. So yeah, again, same thing on the other side. Some people said they wanted me to do both brows in the tutorial and not like skip through it because a lot of people just do one and then that's it which I can understand because when you do um when you do both of your brows you kind of it's kind of a little different because like I don't know how to explain it when you have your prominent hand it can cover one eye and I think that's why this brow looks better in my opinion because it's on the left hand so I don't know how to explain I'm really not good at explaining things this is why I don't like to do tutorials because I'm truly not good at explaining things I'm just really awkward and yeah so yeah again my brows why can't I get this right my brows are not perfect you guys despite what you may see in pictures or whatever when I go like this you can see like they're not I need to go get them shaped again truly like just so that I can get the it's just the front that bugs me and then when I'm doing this like I get really like like I said perfectiony so yeah that's it guys I'm just cleaning them up with the concealer and then I'm just going to leave it like that because it looks good enough to me. Then I used um, just this. It's not clear no more. It's like all brown from like I use this stuff so much. It's the Great Lash Clear Mascara. I'm not even going to close up because it looks gross in there. Um, I just flick it up into my brows and it just grooms them down and makes everything. It's like a setting spray for your eyebrows. You can use a colored one too, but I don't because I don't feel like I need more color in my brows. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I mean, let me know. Um, like I said, it's nothing special. It's just pretty much how a lot of people do their brows anymore. And yeah, it looks so weird without any other makeup. Like it looks harsh. I think I'm going to go do my makeup real quick and come right back. Hold on. 
I just threw on like a little teeny bit of eyeshadow and I figured I'm gonna film this real quick too because people always ask me how I do my eyeliner oh my god I still have hair I didn't put any I mean uh, foundation on or anything I probably should whatever so if I have hairs on my face I'm sorry um People always ask me how I do my eyeliner. So I was like, I'll just record this real quick. Ta -da. <laughs> that's pretty much it been doing it since I was like 12 so I better be decent at it shoot okay so there is the finished product this is pretty much like when I'm in a rush and I just need to put something on if I feel like it this is usually just what I do and yeah nothing real special guys but I hope this helps somebody um I don't know if you guys want to see the one um, where I use the cream remover I can do it like in a couple weeks cuz by then I'm gonna need to do my brows again but let me know if you guys want to see that um, I don't know I'm gonna probably try and film another video now hopefully my laptop is gonna cooperate because it was it was going really slow if anyone has any like oh it's not lagging anymore <gasps> probably see the reflection on my glasses hi ring light anyways oh my it's not lagging now because my um screen when i record my glasses when i record it was like lagging and i was like i cannot film like this but anyways hope you guys like my video hope it helps someone i know she doesn't vaccinate but i'm too lazy and cheap to take it back and i already have it i already used it i don't care and it's actually pretty good so if you don't like her, take it up with her, not me, all right? I already bought it before all that stuff happened. Anyways, okay. And I'm always in the Halloween spirit. I know I haven't talked much about that kind of stuff on my channel yet, but I plan to. I got this background from Wish, and it only cost me like five bucks or something, but I'm actually in my husband's man cave right now. But I think I like recording in here more because the it's smaller. So, like, you can hear me better on my microphone, my cheap little stuff. Anyways, yeah, eyebrows. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. I'm going to go film another video now. So, thanks for watching, guys.